Hello and welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how to hopefully match as close as possible the EQ of two different guitars using the Curve EQ which is actually built into Cubase or I believe it's available to buy as a standalone product so this will work in Pro Tools, in Logic, in Reaper or any other door you want to use that can take the Curve EQ plugin. This is Cubase 13 though, let's have a listen to what we've got. This is a uh, bit of guitar playing along with something that I used for for my Amplitude 5 video and um, I've got basically two versions of the same guitar but with different EQs on the guitar and I want to see if I can match them. So let's have a listen to a bit of the source guitar, the one that we actually want to copy the curve from. Not the nicest sounding guitar, but it will work for this example. Right, let's listen to the one that I want to actually match to that. So this one here doesn't sound right, and I want this one here to sound like the one above. Let's have a listen. Way muddier way muddier so let's see what we can do first thing i'm going to do is go to the inserts and put on the curve eq here we go i'm going to open up two windows within this curve eq one of which is the static and match window and the other of which is this little cog here which brings up the settings all i'm going to do here is just turn up this average time to 10 seconds so our kind of eq print is going to be 10 seconds of the uh, of the audio that we play it and then once uh, i've got 10 seconds worth of audio and i'm happy with that i'm going to click this take button in the uh, the static and match window which they've labeled static spectrums editor so it's starting at two seconds so let's get to 12 seconds and hit that take button as accurately as I possibly can, which I can guarantee you will not be accurate. Right, that was as accurate as I could get. If I turn down the average time and turn it back up, it will get rid of the uh, residual that's behind. And we can see the EQ print of that guitar for the first 10 seconds of playing. So if I now mute that and we go to the guitar to match, I want to copy that plugin over. So I'm going to hit F3 on my keyboard, bring up the mixer and just drag the plugin over to the guitar that we actually want to get the EQ to change on. If I reopen the plugin, and I click on static and match again. You can see here, if I, in fact, if I click on the cog, you can see that none of that's changed either. But uh, this is the window I'm interested in now. And I'm going to use this take button down there and basically take exactly the same bit of guitar, but with the one that we're not happy with. That's as accurate as I could get it. But you can see now we've kind of got two EQ prints. I'm going to turn the average time down and back up to get rid of the uh, residual average audio that's going on there. Because obviously when we stop, the level drops. And it takes 10 seconds to, uh, to all fall out of our screen. So um, these are our two EQ curves. I want it to work out what the differences are between one and the other. So the first one there is our reference. So I'm going to click on reference. The second one there is the one we want to apply the curve to. So I'm going to click on apply to. It's very easy. And then I'm going to click on match spectrums, leaving the points at 30. So it's going to give us a 30 point EQ curve. Let's have a listen. Let's see how well it's done. Well, it sounds more like the original from memory, but let's uh, solo and have a listen closely. So I'm going to solo the one we've just done the match to. Thing is, is it's not absolutely perfect but it certainly brought it into a place where it's within the same road or postcode of the area of the other one rather than it sounding so muddy so i mean i think that's 
definitely, if you if this was something I was doing on a mix, it's definitely a tool that's moved me closer to finishing whatever I'm trying to do. Now, obviously, if you want to tweak individual bits of this, there's a little arrow key down here. You can actually open and close the whole curve. So you can say, I want less of it or I want more of it. You can even invert it if that's what you wanted to do. But if you actually just wanted to leave it at 100% and then just click an individual bit, let's say that peaks a little bit too much, we could bring that down. You know, if you double click on one of them, let's say I don't want that peak there, you could double click on that one and it would get rid of that one. So you could kind of clean it out to sort of say, oh, well, all of this is just a little bit fussy and I don't want any of that. That's just complicating things. You could get rid of some points along the way and do what you want to. And then if you mess it up, you've got the undo button here so you can go back to exactly what it was or if you wanted in the, in the first place to choose a different number of points you wanted to simplify the whole thing from scratch you could just choose to only have 15 points or you could choose to have way more we could go to 60 and say way more in fact what does it sound like if i put it on the absolute maximum of 60. <laughs> I mean, that seems to be a lot more detailed, still not perfect, but way closer than it was before we did this process. Let's go down to the minimum, down to 10, see what, uh, see what sort of result that gives us. Again, it's taking it much closer to a finished product, even though it's not absolutely perfect. But it's just a really good way. Let's say you've got two sounds and they're not they're not even in the same universe and you just want to bring them together and they don't have to be absolutely perfect or you're going to tweak by ear afterwards. But just to bring them closer together as easily as possible, this plugin can do that in, well, literally the two 10 second plays and then uh, as long as it takes to move the plugin over and click on match spectrum. So um, hope that explains one of the many functions that the Curve EQ can do. And if you like this video please subscribe share and all of that and i'll see you in another video cheers